Hey everyone, different type of video today. Gonna be trying to make this slow laptop uh, a little bit more usable. Now, I don't expect it to be able to go toe to toe with a modern gaming PC, but it should be practical for use with email, Facebook, YouTube, that kind of stuff. Now, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna be changing the hard drive inside of this. So this laptop is using one of these older style spinning drives right here. In here, you got a little spinning platter with a read and write head that's built in. Think of it sort of like a record player of, of sorts. Okay, so this is an actual working drive, so I don't want to rip it apart to show you the insides of it, but I've got the next best thing here. Got a 3D printed save icon. Just kidding, this is an old style floppy drive from uh, back in the uh, 90s. This right here could hold a whopping 1.44 megabytes. Kind of went out of style when these things came into use. Just for comparison, this is 128,000 megabytes. This is also a little bit faster. This one right here, you get a uh, blinding fast transfer speed of about 0 0.05 megabytes per second. This one, theoretically, you can get 600 megabytes per second if you plug into the USB 3 socket. If I slide back this little hatch right here, you can kind of see the disc in there. And this right here is the little spindle that kind of moves it around. The read and write heads are in the floppy uh, drive that you push this into. So the mechanism pulls this back and the read and write heads will read the data off of that. This right here is a modern solid state drive. That's what we're going to be putting inside of here. Won't get into the nitty gritty of it, but this is basically a fancy version of this guy. As you can see, this is just a fancy circuit boards with no mechanical or moving parts and it's essentially the same thing in here except this is built a little bit more robustly this is meant to make your files portable this is designed to run your operating system reliably now the hard drive that's in here should theoretically be able to push around 60 megabytes per second but keep in mind it's got to hunt around the disk to uh, find what it's looking for which can add a bit of overhead, especially when say like the computer's just booted up and you've got like half a dozen programs screaming for data. This in comparison is theoretically capable of five to 600 megabytes a second. So roughly 10 times faster than this guy right here. However, this being an older laptop, I don't expect to get anywhere close to that, but it'll still be a bit of an improvement. Also, I should mention, while this uh, USB stick is superior to the floppy disk in both speed and storage, the same is not true for these guys. This SSD is a lot faster than the spinning disk drive, but the spinning disk drives are a lot cheaper in terms of uh, bang for the buck in terms of storage capacity. So if you need a lot of storage, it's recommended to get one of these for the operating system to give you the uh, quick boot up times and just get a spinning disk drive for your data and of course keep backups remember if you have one copy of something you essentially have no copies should something happen so it's been about uh three minutes since i turned this on you can see here in task manager the disk is just being uh, thrashed right now it's been a good six minutes now so while we wait for that to finish booting up I'm just going to take this usb drive dock right here going to put the SSD inside of it and when we're finished booting up we'll connect this dock to the computer with a USB cable hey, this is me from the future here just with a little note uh, if you're following along before you do your uh, clone you want to go to start go to settings you'll get this screen right here just click in the little search bo uh, search box right there type power pick power and sleep settings and you're gonna to wanna to go here. When plugged in, PC goes to sleep. You wanna set this to never. And if you wanna keep an eye on the uh, progress without the screen turning off, you wanna set this one to never as well. So we've got the new drive connected here with USB. So before, the reason we're not just slapping this drive inside of here is I'm just gonna clone what's on here onto the drive. That way my buddy doesn't lose his data and I don't have to worry about reinstalling Windows. 
I'm going to go into computer management here just to make sure that the new drive is showing up and is being recognized by the computer. Computer management is finally open. We're going to go to disk management right there. And yep, this popped up right away. So we are running Windows 10, so we'll pick the GPT partition style. And that's the drive right there. We're not going to bother initializing it. The uh, cloning software will do that for us. We've got it connected to Wi-Fi now, and the internet is working. So the cloning software we're going to use is called Macarium Reflect. Going to grab the 30-day free trial. That's We only need one day to clone this thing. Hopefully it doesn't take more than one day. So we'll pick Reflect 8 free 30-day trial. And hopefully it starts downloading soon. Software's finished downloading. Going to launch it. This installer package we just downloaded is a little bit wacky. It's going to re-download the actual installer now. We'll let this run, and I'll be back. There we go. I'll finish installing. Macro Reflex up. I've also disconnected it from the Wi-Fi so it doesn't try to pull in any Windows updates or anything while we're doing this. So we're going to select this disk right here. This is the primary disk that's being used, the one that's inside the uh, computer. I'm going to select clone this disk, and we're going to select this disk here, the empty one, the one in the USB dock. So this disk is actually sectioned off into four partitions, which it's replicated down here. Now, slight problem, the original disk is a 300 gigabyte disk. The one we're putting in is a 450 gigabyte, so we've got a little bit of extra room right there. So we kind of want to shuffle these guys around here. So I'm going to pick this one here. I'll click float right. Let's move that to that end. Same thing with this. And this one right here is going to be, that's the main C drive. That's the one we want to fill the space. And there we go. It's done it. So what was originally a 281.58 uh, gigabyte C drive? is now a 430.62 gigabyte C drive. So we'll hit next and we'll let that run. And I'll be back when this is finished. Clone just finished, took about three hours. Honestly, not as long as I thought it was gonna take. Was expecting to have to come back to this uh, tomorrow morning. Laptop's shut down, let's plug it out. Disconnect the USB drive. Take out the battery. For this one right here, Looks like we only have to take off these two screws to get to the hard drive, which is good. It means I don't have to take off the entire back panel. Looks like we have three screws here and one missing screw. Looks like it just lifts up and the SATA, the combination SATA power connector just comes off. This is the old spinning disc. I'm going to get this uh, frame off of it and attach it to the SSD. This is the frame piece of plastic with two uh, metal pieces on either side. Gonna remove the SSD from the dock now. Looks like the SSD will fit in this way. Let's get the uh, screws connected. Fit this back in now. Put these three screws back in. Close up this compartment. Pop the battery back in. And we're back at the desktop. It took about 30 seconds to boot up, which is a lot faster than the 6-7 uh, minutes it was before. The disc is no longer the uh, bottleneck on this. You can see it's at 14% usage. It's the CPU, which is at 99, which is it to be expected, considering the computer literally just started up. And it's loading uh, background processes. So, altogether, I'd say this is a success. We're about... 45 seconds later and we've dropped down to 30% CPU and that's it. We've gotten a little bit more life out of this laptop by getting rid of this part right here. If you do do this with your laptop, you don't necessarily have to toss this. You can use the same dock right here, turn it into an external drive for carrying uh, files around. Just be careful because these are fragile and susceptible to bumps. You don't want to damage this. In any case, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.